I've got tonight. I'm going to be painting a basilisk for Jason underscore Wilson on Twitter. Um, uh, but before we get to that, uh, hi, I'm Jen Gagney. I'm drawing my way and painting my way through the the uh, Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition Monster Manual. Um, you can see my other work at Pixelscapes.com. Uh, before we get to the art, I'm going to thank my Patreons. Uh, I want to thank Erica Regan, my founding member of the Conspiracy of Evil. And uh, with that, here's the Basilisk. He's so dumpy. I love him. I really do. Um, here's the, my painting or drawing process for the Basilisk. Uh, oh, his tongue is like out of the way. I'm going to move him over so you can see. Okay. And I'm going to show you the drawing. So here we go. I always like to sketch him in first. I like the twirly knees. He's so happy to turn you to stone and eat you. Uh, detail, detail. Big long tongue. And lots of spikes. Because spikes. Because he's a basilisk. And then I got fussy about my spikes. But I'm fussy like that. All right. Here's my boy. Isn't he cute? Let's get this guy cleaned up now. My no-fly zone, that's that outer ring. I don't need that because that's for the drawing process. The sketch is in the background. I can move that. The rings. I'll label them properly. And then change that to 100%. Find it. So here he is. Um, this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to make these lines all black, like I usually do. Hello, Hit People Guy. So it started up automatically. That is very good. Because I know sometimes in the past you've had to start it manually, and I don't like that. And then my droplet. Oh, I see. It is part of that. Okay. All right. Body color. So, they're kind of reptilian, but they look more rocky. So, HPG asks me, I know it's extra work, but have you thought about doing it as one stream and then downloading the video and editing into chunks at home? I've thought about it, but um, I'd still have to do my credits at the beginning and end. I still have to export it to YouTube afterward. So, I just... It only stays on Twitch. Or like, yeah, I do it to keep it separate on Twitch. Because then when I export to YouTube, they're all separate videos. Um, I mean, I could slice it up and then re-upload it to YouTube as pieces, but this way I don't have to. Okay, let's see. Body color. Um, they're kind of gray, which is a little bad. Do I want to make them gray? I like the red spikes. Gray? The bluish gray? I guess. I'll make it. I, instead of gray, I'm going to make it blue. How about blue? Blue is good. These toes. No. One, two, Three wonderful toes. Ah, 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 ah. Okay.
He's so delightfully lumpy. Um, but w one thing is that they have a lot of texture to them. Like, they look rocky, almost. Um, so I'm going to try and give them a little shading. But I think I'm going to use a rocky texture mostly, which usually wipes a lot of my shading out. But I'm still going to give them, like, some token. Are they like eight-footed monsters? Yes, they are eight-footed monsters. So you're seeing his right side and then and then both of his front legs. I'm gonna try to do this one leg at a time. See if it works. I love him because he's all pudgy. Nah, not that color. Watch in. Ugh. So, as you can see, I'm basically selecting one leg at a time since there's no, not a discrete area, so I'm kind of faking it. Uh, 
wrong color. All right, one more hard way. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have selected this. Yeah, but anyway. Okay. All right, and then last leg, which I can easily select, which makes my life much easier. And now I've done though this like loving shading, I'm gonna start adding a rocky texture to it. So we'll see how well this works. Uh, let's see. Where's my rocks? Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I pretty much wiped out my shading, but I do like the rocks. Do I like them on the green side? I don't like the green. Mm. I can't decide. The blue's darker. I'm gonna stick with... No, this is good. No. Oh. Hmm. Or do I want to be a totally different color? I like this. Okay. Um. Likes. They're reddish pinkish, right? Okay. Red and pink. All right. Let's let's get these guys. Red on one end. Dark on the other. I'm going to use a bigger brush. Actually, that's blue, isn't it? It's a body's blue. All right. Yeah, that works. I know it's inefficient painting them individually. I want them to be just a certain. And I also have to do them by size because otherwise my brush will be too big. I'm moving my brush down as I go so that they're still the same. If I were smart, I would build a gradient for this, but I want it. I want more control. <laughs> These guys are all kind of the same size, so I can Select them.
put in this little container. And a really teeny guys, which I can't add red to, I will just add the blue. Did I miss any? I don't think I did. All right. Nice. Now, do I want to change this? So that it blends with the like the blue being different. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Um and I'll make the tongue the same way, I bet. That'd probably be good. Okay. Wrong color. Okay, and uh, get his face colors in here. And then I end his claws, I guess. Face and claw colors, okay. So many teeth. Hmm. I have some bleed over on the body. That's unfortunate. I'm going to fix that later. Probably from spraying when I didn't have a uh, selection, but I can fix it. Now it's totally clean. All right. Um, We'll see if I end up changing it. It depends on the background. Okay. Uh, oh, and we need a little, little drool.
right. Oh, let's see. Okay, he's done, so... Um, oh, I don't need the sketch. I just need the rings. Outer ring color. Now this can't be red for sure because the spikes are out there. Can't be blue or cyan. Yellow. How about yellow? And then the background color. Will be green. Mm. But that'll blend a little into his body. Um, I gotta take these off. They're killing me. Not green. Not blue. Not purple. I could use orange, but it's kind of a cop out. Um, but I might have to. Green is too close. Um. Yeah. Looking at orange here. Why does it have five blanks? It has four on each side. And because of the angle, you can see both of the front legs. So that's why. See how his chin and his belly go down in between the front two legs? So that's the difference. All right. Um, and then I am going to... Green. That's BS. Okay. My style's relatively cubist, so that's how that's how I usually operate. You studied fine arts? Yes, I studied fine arts as well. I've got a degree. Not that that matters. I can actually draw. But for these guys, I'm using a more stylized approach. He says it's BS that you can see the lines on the legs. Big dumpy creature like this, you can't see between his legs. You can see his front paws, just like on a fat cat. There we go. Just a little under green. I don't think that'll blend in the body too much. It makes it different from the orange. Yeah. You studied fine arts. What kind of uh, thing did you do? Like, what was your what was your emphasis area? And I am gonna change one more thing. I'm gonna change the bottom of this line, bottom of this ring. Because I don't want it to be green under here. I want it to look like he's sitting on a surface. Neoclassic. Ah. No wonder you think something this primitive is BS then. Let's see. Purple? He could be sitting on purple. Red. Hmm. Looks pretty good. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Where is... Oh, my pixel escapes. I moved it. I lost track of it because it blended right into them. Oh, well. There's so little detail in the tail. That is correct. I do a lot of color fields. You get a little bit of, uh, you get a little bit of texture to it, and that's it. All right. Uh, not that far. Do I know why bananas are curved? I don't know, but this sounds like BS to me. Okay. And I do like his orange eyes. I'm going to keep those. Mm, actually, I'll try some other eye colors just to satisfy my curiosity. Nope. Happy with them how they were. Okay. Time for line color. There we go. Okay. As well. Probably because... What? Yeah, I did assume your gender. I didn't want to say it. Most of my visitors have been male. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's see here. Racist bigot? What? Okay. You're done. That's really not necessary. Ugh. Well, that's unfortunate. Most people have been very nice on Twitch. Instead of coming in here and telling me what I'm doing is BS. Okay, let's see. Basilisk line. Okay. I mean, blue would be obvious. Um, I guess I could do that. Okay. All right. Uh Oh, uh, claw line color. I'm gonna... I'm gonna use red. I always like it when something has red claws because it's more murdery.
And then, actually, I think I'm going to make the, um, uh, I'm going to make the claws yellow. No, I'm just going to leave them white. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to load the basilisk lines back up because I want to make the outside of his mouth be um, all blue. It keeps his lips separate from his... Uh... Separate from his... Uh... What I'm looking for? From his teeth. There you go. All right. Um, oh my gosh, I'm missing a section of tongue. What did I do? That's terrible. Um, look at that. Unforgivable. Okay, I'm going to fix that. My goodness. color I feel better now all right let's see spikes Now, I may be crazy, but I'm not crazy enough to individually color all the spikes. I'm just going to do the outside ones. Probably with magenta. Probably with purple, because that's what I used on the tongue. And now it stands out from the background just so nicely. Excellent. Um, and then I'm not going to do... Oh, wait. A little more here. Okay. I'm not going to do anything with his eye line because that's fine. Um, and I'm going to use green on the token ring. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I think he's done. I love him. He's just so dumpy adorable. Excellent. And, uh, okay. So I'm going to do my credits next, but remember, if you're watching live, I'll be back on, um, in just a minute with the next monster. So, uh, once again, thanks to Erica Regan founding member of my conspiracy of evil um and i also want to give thanks to my other patreons uh hit people guy and atomic straw on twitter uh andrew and kevin lovecraft my latest backers and uh ruben at the sneak peeker level so thank you all very much and uh thanks for watching the stream uh you can see more of my work at pixelscapes.com and uh if you're watching live stick around for the next one Thanks.